Morning Capricorn ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. Ladies and gentlemen, what I like to do is to go on and just give you a, a, a romance, general romance reading. And basically I'm going to cover how your ex really and truly feels about you. And ladies and gentlemen, this reading is valid until the end of this month. I made this reading a bit more extensive for you guys because I realized I didn't post anything for you on last month due to illness. However... I've decided to go on and just extend this reading and decided to go on and use my um, zombie tarot deck uh, um, as already shuffled, as you see here, in addition to a few uh, additional oracle cards that I feel will give you part and advice into your, um, or additional advice into your um, situation. In Capricorn, as always, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please take a few moments to do so now. And if this reading resonates, go on and give it a big thumbs up. Okay, so prior to getting into your reading, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to just make a few general um, observations before just getting into your reading to just examine these cards here to come up with some more specifics that I can provide you with. Okay, I'm looking at the predominance of suit here that you have there, and it looks like you have a predominance of sword cards. You have three there, and you have major, so... Uh, it's swords to major, so there seems to be a lot of conflict and perhaps arguing and uh, or problems or major type problems that you may be going through with your lover, um, your ex lover, as well as it could potentially be going on in your existing uh, relationship. Okay, um, now I wanted to just go on and just um, just see what your theme is in this reading here, and I um, basically just added up all of the numbers here, and I derived at a theme of. Uh, the number five. So this is suggesting to me, ladies and gentlemen, that you need to kind of uh, look at the big picture and kind of move forward honestly. And it also kind of denotes when you have this five number disruption and kind of change that's really, um, really change that comes about that tends to be a bit undesired. And it shows a lot of um, disharmony. OK. Also, I'm just looking at a few other um, interesting things here that you have in your reading here. You have these two knights there. Okay. So it shows that things are certainly are going to be moving rather quickly for you guys. And it certainly signals a long-term condition that is really about to kind of change. And when you usually have two cards of the same um, nature, it usually brings about an element of surprise that seems to kind of comes up into the picture. And it shows a lot of intimacy and friendship is going to be restored, I'm feeling here. And I feel that you are concerned about, you know, either, you know, your or either potentially your ex's, you know, next move here that I'm kind of getting here. Okay, let's go on and make a few general other combinations here. I like to combine this Emperor card along with that. Temperance card, and that certainly shows that someone seems to be on medication I'm, I'm getting. It's either you or either your ex, I'm kind of feeling, okay? And with this nine of wands there, okay, it shows a bit of a lot of, you know, communication problems, okay? And looking at the seven of swords here, and we combined it along with the emperor, along with the knight here, um, Knight of Pentacles, it kind of shows someone perhaps may potentially be spying on you or you might even be spying on them in some sense, okay? Uh, you know, just to take a step back a bit, you know, these two knights here also kind of signifies, you know, infidelity and it, you know, it signify, signifies a very aggressive or either or a very quick-tempered or impatient type person and it could potentially be you or it could be potentially your ex okay and for some of you i'm kind of getting that there might even in fact be a hyperactive type child that might even be involved there okay we have this nine of wands card and let's combine it along with that emperor and this union does show that it perhaps it, it it's there's a strong possibility for long term you know potential here still i'm feeling Okay, and along with this Knight of Pentacles here, or in fact, Knight of Hazards, and let's combine it along with that Fool card there. That shows a chance for reconciliation, if you will, okay? So we also have this red, strong energy. You see all this red in here? So it's, it's, it shows that you two did have, in fact, a very passionate, strong, heated 
type relationship, perhaps a love-hate type union I'm getting, okay? And I'm feeling here that you also have yours. You have this Three of Cups there, and I'm going to go on and combine that card with, along with, let's see, right here next to that Seven of Swords there. So that shows that the person that perhaps that many of you want to be with might already be married or perhaps committed, I'm feeling, with someone else. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, and last but not least, one thing that I'm, I'm feeling here in terms of looking at, you know, your cards and the flow of your spread here, you actually have two major um, time and conjunctions here. Okay, and, and that indicates that in about perhaps three weeks, you know, for some of you, I'm feeling that you're going to find a part of your destiny materializing which might even represent a happy beginning for you guys, for some of you, or even a sudden ch change, perhaps even with a dominating, you know, type person, or it could even be a boss that you will influence that perhaps might influence your life or your destiny in some way. However, I'm kind of feeling that, you know, since you do have this um, seven of swords there that's kind of following, you know, that's falling within this timing, it indicates that perhaps maybe within seven days, you're going to need to kind of take some introspective type time, you guys, to kind of reassess your situation. Because you may find it necessary or find yourself being offered and feeling something a bit, maybe perhaps for some of you, even too good to be true, I'm kind of getting here. And you're going to come, it seems, to, to perhaps understand um, during that time frame in question that you perhaps might have been cunningly deceived. So try not to feel guilty and kind of focus on, you know, greater, larger matters. You know, don't sweat the small stuff, you know, if you will, that I'm kind of getting here. Okay, let's go on and get started and look at the card falling to the bottom of the deck here. We have that Fool card. And ladies and gentlemen, this card, Uranus, rules Aquarius. And of course, it's equally, you know, Gemini and Libra. So this card is certainly all about you know, the unknown and new beginning. So your ex kind of feels that you're trying to kind of start anew, but might be a bit unexperienced or even eccentric or even for some of you, even with that card, bisexual that I'm kind of getting, okay? And I'm kind of feeling that your ex feels that you're very carefree and really very open to kind of anything. You know, I'm feeling your ex sees you as very trusting and fearless, but perhaps not ready to kind of make a firm commitment I'm getting here. Okay, let's look at your next card here. We have that Five of Cups card, okay? So this card denotes a water type sign, it's Cancer, Pisces, and or Scorpio, and it's really all about depression. You know, guilt, you know, sadness, crying over smilt, spilt, you know, milk and kind of disappointment, you know. So therefore, your ex kind of sees you as kind of going through a period of mourning, or resentment and really having anxieties about your separation. You know, I'm feeling that your ex feels that, you know, you're perhaps mad about something that he or she did. Perhaps they're more than likely probably was a good reason for you to feel this way. And there might have even potentially been a drug or even, um, ladies and gentlemen, in fact, a drinking, you know, problem. But you have to understand here that when you see this card here, there is still, or there are things that are still left to be savage. This card is a savageable card, you know, particularly when you see that there, you know, all, you know, you still have things remaining here. You still have these two coffins here that she's not realizing. You have the two coffins behind her that she's not realizing because she's so focused on her hurt. Okay. And that symbolism there. Okay. Let's move on to your next card here. We have the nine of wands and ladies and gentlemen, this card represents a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or even Sagittarius. And this card definitely is all about defense or really kind of standing one's ground. Okay. So, you know, your ex kind of sees you as an individual who kind of stands up for, you know, his or herself. And some of you might even work for the military or even with a government type agency, too, that I'm getting, you know. And I feel that your ex feels that you need space before kind of making a decision and, you know, kind of sees you kind of very defensive, perhaps due to past hurts. You know, however, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to kind of be more optimistic, although your ex kind of feels that you think that I'm feeling that he or she will hurt you again if you, 
even try to take the chance of kind of, you know, reconnecting here when you're seeing all of those, you know, mad evil faces surrounding him. You see? So he's kind of fearful. Okay. Um, also, just to, you know, move on to your next card here. Uh, we have this temperance card there. And, you know, ladies and gentlemen, this card kind of refers to the element of fire. So it's Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. And it's all about manipulation or uniting or, you know, even tempering or patience or even, ladies and gentlemen, forgiveness and cooperation. So your ex sees you as kind of being at depth, you know, very peaceful and very benevolent or have a very benevolent type attitude. You know, however, I'm kind of getting that he or she feels there's something deep within that's kind of holding you back. You know, he or she feels that you desire him or her, but you just uh, just kind of realize deep in your heart that perhaps you just can't do it. You know that I'm kind of getting Okay, let's move right along to your next card. We have that Page of Swords card. So that refers to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and or Aquarius. And ladies and gentlemen, understand that pages also refer to the element of Earth as well. So this page might also signify a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or it might be within their chart some way, okay? So here again, you know, your ex kind of, you know, I'm kind of getting here, sees you quite charming, smart. A bit stingy, a big stingy tongue I'm kind of getting in. Somewhat insensitive at times to his or her feelings, you know. And some of you might even be a bit younger than your ex I'm getting, you know. I'm feeling that, you know, uh, or your ex might be a bit younger than you. It's vice versa. Or I'm kind of feeling that your ex sees you as very you know, a bit furtive, you know, calculating, even might even see you as a spy at times. And he or she also sees you as someone maybe hard to really kind of get close to, you know, you know, feeling that you uh, prefer running away when rather than you really, you know, confronting your problems, you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting, you know, and you might have kind of, you know, even put on a facade doing intimacy, in fact, in the past, okay? Let's move right along and look at what your challenge would be if you were to consider reconnecting. We have the Three of Cups card there. And so Mercury is certainly in Cancer, but this card definitely refers to a water sign, which could all equally, you know, denote a Pisces and or Scorpio. So this card is all about friendships, you know, reuniting, partying, you know, a celebration. So, uh, Therefore, I'm kind of feeling really being jealous or controlling and possessive and kind of picking foolish arguments is certainly is going to challenge your existence, okay? And in fact, overindulgence is going to perhaps be a factor too, and that is to include but not limited to the following. Drinking, you know, partying, excessive smoking, you know, um, taking medication or whatever it is that perhaps one of you may be getting high off of, or or it could be a challenge in this relationship, is going to cause problems as well as infidelity because you can rest assured that it's still more than one person that's lurking, okay? Um, I'm just feeling that that's going to be a consistent challenge um, for you guys should you wish to consider to kind of, you know, go back to this, okay? So let's look at, you know, like with any relationship, you have to understand there are certain situations or certain matters that are kind of less important than others. So let's look at what's not important in your situation. We have the Seven of Swords there. And so once again, that card refers to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this card is really all about ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of spying, you know, schemes or tricks and really dishonesty. So, you know, now definitely it's de definitely not the time to kind of be manipulative or tricky or avoid a situation, which is why your timing, your conjunction told you from the onset, as mentioned, that you need to take some introspective time out to kind of realize what it is that you need or want in the way of a relationship. So now let's move on to figure out then what is important, okay? You have this, uh, you have the Knight of um, Swords card there. And once again, it connects us with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, you know, and also, you know, just to read, you know, let you know again, since Knights also refer to the element of fire, 
It also connects us with Aries, Leos, as well as Sagittarius. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, this card is all about, you know, assertiveness or impetuousness and um, kind of enmity I'm kind of getting here. So, you know, really, there's no way kind of getting around it as I see, you know, it looks like you're still going to, it looks like arguments, you know, and instead I'm feeling that, you know, ladies and gentlemen, it's indeed very important that you be cautious and very suspicious should you decide to rekindle, okay? Um, I'm feeling that it's very important that you express your true feelings or criticize if necessary and kind of be open to the other's point of view. And, you know, because a cold attitude might even be necessary for you guys in your situation. So let's look on and see, you know, what's hidden, what's an, hidden in the situation that you may not, in fact, be aware of. Okay, we have um, um, this Emperor card here. So uh, what I'm kind of getting here with you guys is that, you know, particularly just to point it out when you're kind of looking at this card the way that it, that is, you know, of course, the Emperor refers to an Aries. And this card is all about, you know, endurance or structure. Um, stubbornness and really authority. So this card shows really a very type controlling type personality and also shows that, you know, the two of you kind of reconnecting or making plans as time to see one another. And I'm kind of feeling that, you know, this card shows that, you know, either you or your ex, you know, are going to, in fact, I'm seeing one of you I'm seeing someone treating one another, you know, to maybe dinner or something or and even, in fact, you know, picking up the tab, perhaps at a bar or a restaurant or something that you're going to do out together and film. And this, you know, like I said, could be even in perhaps in your potential, your current relationship as well, because you may have had problems in your current relationship where you felt like that you um, kind of distance yourself. So it can kind of go both ways. I'm kind of getting. So let's look and see as your, as your likely outcome to your to the situation. Okay, we have the Knight of Hazards. So this card refers to an Earth sign. Tar is Virgo and a Capricorn. So you know, once again, it's a Knight. So it also refers to a Fire sign. Aries, Leo, and a Sagittarius. So, ladies and gentlemen, this card is all about persistence. You know, diligence and cautions even steady progress. So what I'm getting here, this card is kind of saying that you're going to need to kind of be a bit, you know, kind of a bit more patient, which would kind of give you both time to kind of open your hearts up to one another and kind of, you know, allow things to kind of move on and progress as it will. So I think that you might, in fact, reconnect somehow, but I don't see the relationship kind of going anywhere, you know. So more than likely, it will be a slow pro process I'm getting, and it won't be exciting enough for you. And, you know, one of you appears to be maybe more homebody than the other, and, I, you know, I think that has caused problems in the future. And either you or your ex will want to kind of take time, but it has some potential, but if you're willing or if you uh, want to sit around and wait around for this, you know, this could definitely um, lead to something, but... Um, I feel that you're going to definitely kind of hear from this person in some way, but I don't. I just really don't see anything really progressing, you know, that seriously or beyond what you guys have already attained. So, guys, just to give you a bit more parting advice into your situation, I decided to go on and just throw in a few more additional cards to give you more additional advice. So I'm going to go on and look at these two cards here, and the message here is recognition and reward. So... It shows that your hard work is your diligence and your patience is going to certainly pay off at some point. And, and it's really calling for your patience in this situation. OK, and just looking at your next card that, there that I pulled as well is uh, is asking you and urging you to kind of stand your ground. And maybe this card is, you know, kind of came up because right now you guys may be feeling a bit challenged in some sense. And this card is kind of telling you. That it is best, in fact, that you kind of stand your ground. And because there is, in fact, 
as it relates with your ex, there's fierce competition, as I, as I already indicated, with that three of cups here showing there is a challenge that you would have to compete against if should you wish to reconnect in any way with this person. Okay, just to give you additional advice, I decided to go on and just select um, two additional cards um, from this psychic um, tarot deck. And um, the message here that I'm getting here is sadness and isolation. And guys, this card is certainly all about, you know, sorrow or, you know, feeling a bit disappointment. And this card is just telling you that this love that you're desiring and whatnot maybe has only brought you, you know, a lot of, you know, sorrow and joy. And this card is reminding you that, you know, despite the fact that this may have entered into your life, you need to acknowledge your sadness and, and kind of your feelings of loss and kind of move on. You know, and you might even be feeling a bit tempted to kind of isolate yourself because of how you're feeling. So this card, once again, is asking you, ladies and gentlemen, to really trust in the process, you know, and to, you know, give yourself time um, to heal because things have happened uh, in its right timing. So and only understand that regret and sorrow only really holds you back. OK, and um I decided to, I, I went along and pulled another additional deck, and you have choose your battles. And certainly, it's just as it is suggested, you would think of this card is certainly all, again, about resistance or conviction or defense. So, this card is kind of suggesting that as, most, as much as you guys might like to, to be in a real harmonious relationship, it's not always the case because you have to understand that it, there always are going to be differences of opinion and each person tries within the relationship to validate his or her viewpoint you know and uh, and sometimes it's really very important for you guys to kind of insert your own conviction but this attitude ladies and gentlemen might be misread in a bit be i'm sorry misread you know incorrectly you know so again as i've already indicated you might need to take some time to or just allow the other person to kind of speak their minds too, because it kind of be it's it's just suggesting with this card that if you're kind of challenging yourself, it's kind of time to reevaluate your situation and time to get clear. And in doing so, guys, with last but not least, I chose to go on and select, you know, two cards from the Healing with the Angels Oracle card. You need to meditate a bit more about your situation and call upon the very most powerful angel. Archangel Michael, if you're feeling fearful. So Capricorn, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought. Once again, if it resonated, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, please take a few moments to do so now. Capricorn, if you would like a more personalized reading, you can contact me at wat61073 at gmail.com. Thanks again for your time and for viewing. I look forward to hearing your comments. Enjoy your day.